everybody welcome back good morning good afternoon wherever you are and whatever time it is you're watching this i'm on my way out to the racetrack the local the one just up the road from home willowbank we're back open Woo. oh it feels so good to be able to just drive 45 minutes to an hour to go racing instead of potentially up to 10 but you got to do what you got to do sometimes just to go racing so i'm excited we're back in the lanes Hopefully this track is cool. It'll be my first time driving on it in, uh, in a very long time. And even that, it's been that long since I've gone proper racing. We've uh, done the old time racing, you know, where you just race yourself for a number. But that's cool, but it's not really me. I like to do, I like to race somebody, you know what I mean? There's so much more at stake. It's not just how fast your car can go. You know, can you cut a line? Is your car better set up than the person beside you? You know what I mean? So many variables. But I'll take what I can get because, man, you've got to do these things just to go racing sometimes. But it's a nice balmy 3.5 degrees outside she looks fresh it's probably horsepower weather i'm hoping that the track is uh as good as what it looked yesterday from some of the videos that i saw of the private test day because it's been gone over two days so this is day number two so in my head it should be much better today with all the extra rubber and stuff going down but i'm not a prep expert by any means that's a whole different kettle of fish compared to a, a full world-class racetrack but anyway enough crapping on i'm nearly there i'm gonna go have a bit of a walk around and see what is doing and then hopefully we can uh, get the car unloaded and then get into the lanes and be one of the first people to go down so i've got a plan today and the plan is to go fast obviously and uh make sure the car goes back on the trailer in one piece but <laughs> these things sometimes never go to plan but if i can tick those two boxes i'll be happy and no more 460s i'm done now, time to roll some numbers let's go Ah, feels good to turn left here. Woo -hoo, it's been a hot minute. Oh, easy, big girl. What are you doing? Easy. Using all the road, this bloke. That might be me today. Using all the lane going A to B. All right, here we are. Willow Bank. It's fresh. I've got I've got Darcy's outfit on, but I'm pretty sure I'm wearing his shorts. We've got the guys out there prepping the track. Feels good to be back here. All the new lights and stuff. The place is going to look cool. Hopefully we can go down. See some PBs today would be nice. Let's see how we go today. I don't know if you can hear that noise. The rotator doing its thing, getting some rubber down. It's like fingers down a chalkboard. But I'm getting keen. Oh, here it is. The boys are here and on. Have a look at the wheels on the man. Look at the legs on them. <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs> well, let's go. The man does do work. Pop change legs. Used to that. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Making sure they're right on the back, same size, bro. <laughs> That's in your face. He said all the men on the car can't see. Oh, I'm on the covers. Here you going? Ready to go. Set some lash. You get that a little bit. This is fun. All right, we're in the car, heading out now for the first pass. A bit nervous. See, it's always the way the first time you jump back in it after a while, but this is what we live for. It's time to go fast. Are these? Oh, yeah. Oh, in Sydney, we didn't need goggles, mate. No. Oh, no, fuck it. We're too hard. We're all right. All right, we'll push forward, please. You're good to go. Good luck, Russ. Good, thank you.
my boys are working on the car, pulling it back down after it's going down again. So that time, one, one, eight, 60 foot. So not bad, better than the first one where we spun off the hip. Had to make a few changes over the first one, which you'll see in the video here, obviously. But then car was better at the 60 foot there, but then I think the same thing just went up on the tire. So we will check the data and have a look and get back out there and hopefully go further down the track this time. Wait, one finger or two fingers in there? <laughs> <laughs> at least you didn't sniff it afterwards. Yeah. All right, so we've been battening a little bit here, trying to go down. 1160 foot was the pass beforehand, and then uh, we found the issue, or one of the issues, uh, and just the line pressure was dropping in the converter. So topped it up, thinking that it was low, and seeing that it was low, so hopefully we made some changes now we can start going fast again, but the tracks just got a little bit bald in spots, so they're out there doing a bit of a prep, and uh, I'm the next car in the line to go down, so hopefully we can get this Fox body going A to B now. It would be nice to be swinging for it, but we're just not quite there yet. I just want to be scared and thrown back in the chair that hard that it makes a little bit of weed come out you know what i mean people at drag race they know what i mean and if you're not a drag racer and you're probably going what's this guy talking about pissing himself what the hell well let's go racing boys yep all right fuck it let's push up there good luck russ Is he alright? Yeah. See, that's a good cut right there. Ask if he's alright before anything. Yeah. Come on, cut. I think we've hurt the gearbox or hurt something inside it because uh, obviously that last pass off the line felt like it had spun the tire but we just checked all the data and there was no spinning obviously the engine's just free revving so I think we found the problem obviously when we've had low tranny fluid in there we think we might have hurt something anyway it's not to be today the goals that I'd set out for myself didn't achieve any of them but it is what it is what do you do part of motorsport unfortunately but live and learn until the next time I guess but until then we're just gonna have to quickly get the box out get it to the people to get it fixed and then um, find out what it is exactly and then go from there but in the meantime let's have a look at this cool ass rocket coming down now this is Fox Body Goals Fox Body Goals right there so yeah it's gonna back the push rods out of it now because it might be a little bit while a little while until we go back out racing so do all that here chuck some 98 in it and then figure out what the issue is and then hopefully get back out there but tearing this thing up and going nowhere at the moment which sucks but i guess it is what it is 